In this video, in direct response to comments in a recent test, we've got a John Deere Gator to put through its paces. This is an XUV 865M. So yeah, the video in question was the Azam Mega Truck. And people were saying, well, what about the John Deere Gators? And uh, they were asking about that because these have a diesel engine in the back, the access is the other side, <laughs> typical, and a CVT uh, gearbox. So if we look under here, we find, uh, I think it's an 818 cc three-cylinder diesel engine, and it drives for a CVT, which is all enclosed. So a belt drive with pulleys, moped style, um, to give four-wheel drive in this example. And it's even got diff locks, all sorts of fancy things. Very much designed as a farmer's friend, hence this um, handy little tray back on the back but you can get open cab versions, you can get this closed cab version. And uh, I think it's gonna be quite interesting to see how different this is to drive. Top speed of this one is only 50 kilometers an hour, so it's around 30 miles an hour. So about the same as I was experiencing in the uh, little mega truck and about the same as a Citroen Ami. It's kind of designed as a smaller, more practical baby tractor in many ways. And I think actually, is trying to do the job of the original Land Rover when it came out in 1948. It's about the same sort of length. It's got diff locks and fancy four wheel drive and it can go pretty much anywhere. Now I know you're gonna ask, so let's um, open up this little front hatch, lovely little rubber hooks to hold it in place. Uh, it's just the radiator and the front suspension. You can see it's independent coil um, suspension all round on this. And yes, that is a heater box, which we're grateful for because it's currently snowing but yes water cooled engine front mounted radiator and uh, this windscreen actually opens up so you can uh, get good visibility across your fields but you know luxuries abound now we've got winding windows and doors that shut really quite reassuringly i think and uh, even got little gas struts to try and hold the door in place so there we go, nice solid clunk and we are aboard. And uh, already the sound feels quite muted in here, I think just by this headliner. Uh, forgive the plastic wrap, this is a demonstrator vehicle, so it's still um, all prepared. But it appears to be a three seater. We've got a three point um, belt for the middle seat as well. Um, but like I say, the front screen, I think this is probably the control for that. You can open up the front screen, uh, which gives you excellent visibility uh, and this we've got little vents down here as well for demisting the windscreen but it all feels very functional and uh, also very simple kind of as you'd expect the build quality feels pretty good now i must point out at this fact uh, at this point but obviously that azam mega we um tested was not a brand new example this is pretty much brand new it hasn't even got 150 hours on it yet so they are a world away in terms of how they've been used, but it's also worth pointing out, this is about twice the price of an Azam Mega as well. I don't think you can buy a Mega in the UK anymore, but if you bought one in France, the little Mega trucks are about 15, 16,000 euros. Uh, the retail price on this is 32,000 pounds plus your VAT. So it is, it is not a, a super cheap economy model in the same way as the Azam Mega, but uh, it's got fancy features like tilting steering wheel which is really nice we've got a little computery screen here uh, which obviously displays our various temperatures and what we've got uh, locked in at any given time indicators a very respectful quiet little indicator noise little horn oh that's cute that sounds like it's been stolen straight from a citroen 2cv in terms of controls we've got a gear lever with positions park, reverse, neutral, and then high and low. So it's actually got low range as well. So if you've got some really tricky terrain, you can really slow it down. Uh, windscreen wiper. Oh, we've got to test the windscreen wiper. Oh, look at that. It's an upside down Citroen mono wiper. And it has got wash as well, I'm told. Oh, is that on the blade? Oh, that's posh. I like that. Although we can see one downside of a single wiper is that you do get quite quite the dribble when you turn it off. But that's all right, that's, that's on the um, passenger side. Uh, left hand drive, because these are built in America and given the intended use, it's not worth converting them over 
to right hand drive and in some ways i think you get benefits because you're always stepping out curbside not that there are many curbs in the countryside but you get my point we've also got controls here for the um, four-wheel drive so you can um, lock in the front axle as well and uh, we've also got a diff lock here as well so we can lock the rear diff to really make this go places two speed heater fan sounds quite nice and effective we've got lights on the cab, cab front as well which have just lit up that quite nicely so a bit of extra visibility and then the hazard lights as well so it's all homologated for uk roads uh, which is why we've got a, a bevy of mirrors over there two mirrors over on the passenger side just one on this side which looks sneakily like it's been taken from a land rover defender but uh yeah otherwise it feels nice and functional and uh ready to go so uh, we should probably do that all right here we go then and straight away the fact you're not sitting on the engine is a major improvement but Got that little three cylinder from uh, which I, I actually quite like but for, right we'll just make sure we've got some lights on um handbrake has been left off uh we should there's the detent there's a detent so my foot has to be uh on the uh, pedal that's reverse neutral and into high and then we just ease away and away we go Might actually have to put the wiper on. No intermittent setting, unfortunately. And I'm going to put the blower on for the sake of my um, passenger, who I'm sure is grateful. Uh, indicators down here. And away we go. And uh, I have to say, it's actually quite smooth in here. There's a fair bit of noise. We've got a lot of transmission and a lot of tyre. So uh, there is some noise going on, but put my foot all the way down and we are racing away to our top speed of about 50 kilometers an hour. And uh, it feels quite pleasant. This, this is it. This is maximum speed. So we are, uh, we can go no faster and we are just entering uh, a 50 mile an hour limit. So uh, it, it's not for blasting all the way to town necessarily. I don't think that's really what it's built for. You don't really have to brake even. Just a bit of braking, unsuitable for long vehicles. This will not be a problem for us. But yeah, it couldn't be simpler, could it? You just um, get in and away you go. It's the perfect bombing around the hills of Wales vehicles. I mean, it's almost fun to have one of these to bomb around the city, but uh, it has actually got power steering as well. You don't feel it ever so much at these sort of speeds. But the ride is, I mean, this is terrible. The state of this road, and it's perfectly comfortable. Where are we going? It's a magical mystery tour. Oh, your trade plates are going flying. Oh, they're going to be delighted I took it down this muddy road. So, yeah, it is a lot ex more expensive than that um, Azam Mega, but it does feel a much better vehicle. And as you ease off, it sort of, those pulleys alter and turn into more of a cruise mode. Well, this really is the perfect vehicle for this road. It's tiny down here. Well, this is fun. I have always wanted to drive on this pothole. No, not really. Well, now I think I want to farm. Yeah, that ride is really good. I'm starting to think that maybe this is like a modern 2CV. I mean, my 2CV is faster, but my 2CV doesn't have four wheel drive and diff locks either. Yeah, it's not hard to see why these have become popular. Uh, hopefully this will take us back to where we came from. It'll give you a good opportunity to demonstrate the turning circle, which is um, amazingly impressive. So a huge thank you to the Talis Amos group for um, letting us drive this. One of John Deere's representatives, 
Oh, a bit of a hill to struggle up now. But the beauty of the CVT is it just keeps changing the uh, the pulleys to change the gearing. So she'll definitely get up it. And John Deere have changed to a Kevlar belt. So it's much stronger than the uh, original basic rubber belts and should last much longer as a result. But yeah, they were saying that once people buy one of these, they never go back. And I can entirely see why. I imagine the running costs are going to be far lower than a, a full-size tractor, but for just getting around your farm, towing up to 900 kilograms, these are useful little things. So these are very popular, not with these tyres, for um, grounds crew on caravan parks and uh, golf courses, and uh, I can definitely see why. You can get six-wheeled versions as well, big fat flotation tyres, so they minimise disruption to the ground. Really handy bit of kit, really. So we're just going to do another uh, test of turning circle. Just look at this. It's amazing. So manoeuvrable. And then we're actually going to go into a field to um, do a real off-road test. bumbling around the field it, again it's really good it's almost like off-roading in a Range Rover I know that seems a strange thing to say but the ride is that comfortable even across a fairly rutted field so yeah I can um, select a uh, four-wheel drive and now we've got I can hear electric motion happening and that doesn't mean we've got better traction off the line but there's no center diff so all that tight turning is something you don't really want to do on this um, rougher terrain because you will start um, churning the ground up a bit. I'm just going to put it in low if I can. There we go. We're now into low ratio. So this A means you can tow your 900 kilograms up quite a steep hill. But it also means you've got much more control over pace if you're going through some really tricky terrain as well as giving you more torque to get up slopes as well. So yeah, we're racing along at nine kilometers an hour. I'm getting mildly snowed on. Well, there we go. That has been a fascinating insight into what these little ATVs are all about. The little Gator. What a remarkably useful little vehicle. And a slightly lighthearted um, comparison with an Azam Mega. It's a comparison I don't think has ever been made before. But yeah, lots to like here. It's, it's uh, huge fun, it drives really well. It's gonna be great for off-roading. So uh, yeah, a lot of fun, very, very useful. Huge thank you to John Deere and especially the Talis Amos group for uh, letting us come and film their demonstrator today. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you in a future video with some more antics in whatever vehicle. Farewell.